Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing and football tips for Saturday the 12th of October. Well, disappointing, absolutely dreadful. And you might notice that I'm not even placed this bet yet because I like the look of the Friday selections, so I had a bit more on them. Um, and you'll know the outcome. They, they didn't pick a leg up. Uh, not a single one of them even ran close to running well. And they weren't even particularly huge outsiders. So really frustrating at the moment. And even the horses during the week that I've tipped um, and then I've, I've announced dangers to them. Well, the dangers have won and the horses have run disappointing that I've tipped. So hoping for a change of look. So if you can give me a like, let's change that look. Uh, we've been getting a fair few amount of likes, but let's give it a like and give the video a bit of look and... I've chosen six selections. Um, do what you decide with them. If you decide to, you might be best off just avoiding them. <laughs> That's, but no, I, I like the look of these selections. So I'm having a small stake each way. Lucky 63. And I'll have each way singles to take it to about a tenner. The football selection will be in the description um, as you're watching this video now. Um there aren't many matches, uh, but I've gone for three matches that I like the look of. And um, basically, save your pennies until next Saturday when it's the most wonderful time of the year again. I, I think it's red car. It's either red car races, either Friday or Saturday again. So hopefully a draw by us that day. We can make some money out of it. So I'm talking now about Saturday's selections. So I'm going to Chepstow, Newmarket and York. So the first selection is Run for Oscar. So as you can see, it's 11 to 1, but I think it's worth leaving it to SP in the 340 at Newmarket in the Godolphin Cesarowicz, paying eight places instead of four. So this horse is a previous winner of this race. Uh, not too many horses, I don't think, really go on to, to win it multiple times, but... I think this horse could run well tomorrow. Um, it's okay handicapped. It's So since it's won the Cesarowicz two years ago in 2022, it was then upped in grade for the season of 2023. Um, it ran some decent races, um, most probably most notably in France. Um, it ran in several group twos, ran, ran well, but then for the best part of 2024, has ran, I won't say disappointingly, but has not really kicked on. So it's actually come down the handicap a little bit. Not, It's not plummeted down, but I believe it's off a, um, a workable mark, as they like to say. So I think, especially as they're paying first eight, I think it's got a decent chance. Charles Burns has got um, two in this race. I believe this is the best option for him. There's a lot of dark horses in this race, because it's a Cesarowicz. You've got, you've got about five well between five and ten national hunt trainers with horses in the race so it's a tricky race but it's one that's worth having a bet in because it, it i won't say it's a bit of fun but you, you like to have a, a, a bet in these big challenging races and i think run for oscar <clears throat> is off a, definitely off a workable mark now and i think it's actually better than its handicap mark so that's the first selection the second selection is very similar, really, profile. Um, obviously, no, not over the same distance, but um, it's a horse that has come down the handicap and I think could run well again. So the horse in question is Kings Lynn at 10 to 1 in the 240 at York, paying seven places instead of four. So this horse, if Friday is anything to go by with the York draw bias, well, this one's drawn four. It's got first-time cheek pieces to kick up the backside just to make it concentrate or get that little bit of maybe early toe out of it. Um, it handles slower ground. I think it's got a decent chance. It, I think it's now owned by Andrew Bolden. Um, originally, it was the Queen's horse. I'm not sure if it went to the King, but I, I know that it's now um, owned by, or oh, sorry, at some point has been owned by Andrew Bolden. It's trained by Andrew Bolden anyway. I think it's got a decent chance. And um, yeah, as I said, it's drawn four. So they were heading towards the far side uh, of the course, towards the back end of the day at York. So 
I expect that to continue. Normally, they only come near side for the slower ground when it's actually raining on the day. And as far as I'm aware, when I last looked, it hadn't give, it hadn't it didn't give out any rain. The third selection is Valvano at six to one in the five past two at York, paying five places instead of three. I think this horse is pretty highly rated. Um, it's trained by Ralph Beckett, so it disappointed last time in a Salisbury. I think it was a novices race. Um, it was it, it was carrying a, a big weight. I think it was nine stone eleven. It was a John and Thady Gosden horse that won the race. I think it was called Military Orders or something like that. Um, achieved a half decent racing post rating. The winner did that day. Ralph Beckett's second string came second, and this horse came third. I think this <clears throat> excuse me. I think that race was a little bit of a test for it. I think if it had won that race, then you'd have probably seen it in listed or Group Three. So now you're seeing this in a competitive handicap at York because it ran disappointing, but um, may, maybe it was just may, maybe I was wrong with that they thought it was um, capable of group. May, maybe they, they knew it needed the race and they wanted to give it a run with the idea of sending, sending it to York uh, with a, a handicap mark that is workable again i'll use the word that could that could be the the the, uh, the word of the um, video so, so i think this horse can be competitive it did it i won't say it flopped but it it was a tough task last time and i think this horse could head back in the right direction don't get me wrong it's a competitive race but you can see the bookmakers clearly of um are keeping that eye on it by being such a short price at six to one in what is a competitive race for those of you interested in the football bet, it will be in the description. The fourth selection is Terrorize. It's 14 to 1, but I've took SP because I, I think it could drift. Um, in the 5 past 5 at York, paying 6 paces instead of 4. So the angle of this horse is, I think it'll light the ground. Excuse me. I'm sure I'm not the only person yawning. <laughs> So Terrorize, it's trained by Brian Ellison. Brian Ellison is very good at York. He's a decent trainer in general anyway, but it's hard to catch right. So we did catch him right when it came to Tolstoy. So this horse, I believe, Terrorize, um, has been running over too far. I think the runs, the three runs recently have been over too far, just to keep it ticking over. Um, but with this, maybe with this race in mind, dropping it back in trip, and knowing that it's um, it's fit and it, it it it's got the confidence that it's run over further, so it should be staying on right through the finish. It's run over, run well over one mile two a couple of times. Um, I think it's got a decent chance. I do think a lot of people will overlook it because it hasn't done a great deal. But I think it didn't stay on the last two occasions when they've tried it over one mile six. So it's being dropped back in trip, and I, I do think it's it's got a good it's got. A, Good chance of like a, a dog horse chance. The next selection is we're going to Chepstow and it's into the park. I've left the eight to one. I've, I've clicked SP and it's in the 320 at Chepstow, paying six places instead of four. So for the vast majority of the season, this horse or last season, this horse was heading in the right direction. A couple, couple of disappointing runs, but um, it, it ran and won really well twice at Chepstow. Over two mile and two mile three and a half furlong. And it's two mile three and a half furlong tomorrow or Saturday, whenever you're watching this video. And I think this horse, um, the the Philip Hobbs and Johnson White Stable are actually going quite well. So that's a rarity because they've been disappointed or Philip Hobbs has been for a, a long time. Um, I did rate the trainer. Um, I was asking a few questions quite a few months ago as in like what's gone off because it was it was a top trainer at one point philip obbs was especially especially runners round exeter and stuff like that but um, yeah he went quiet and hopefully he's on the comeback you got well they call him me hall no me hall i can't even say it now me hall nolan um I, I do like the jockey actually i think he's a very good jockey and he's rode some winners for me in the past before i had the channel so hopefully he rides a winner again um the fact that it's eight to one, the stable are going well actually. I looked at the stable form for the last fourteen days, and uh, they've had one one winner, but they've also had several horses where they ran above the the racing post rating. So that tells me they're actually in form. So I think it's got a decent chance. 
the next selection is probably the more obvious selection out of all of them to actually run its race. But I'm sure you've heard that from me before. So the horse is Letterston Lily at 11 to 2 in the 10 past 2 at Chepstow, paying four places instead of three. So this horse, hold on, it's kind of a bit dark. So that's it. So this horse, what I do like about it, it's had several recent runs. And I, I don't think it's exposed or anything like that. It ran third last time behind Fortune Flyer. Well, that horse, Fortune Flyer, um, is trained by the, the Bowens. The Bowens also own this, uh, well, train this horse as well. So the Fortune Flyer absolutely hacked up at Chepstow on Friday. So this horse, interestingly, runs on the Saturday. Um, it came third behind Fortune Flyer the last time they ran against each other. And I think it's just an obvious form chance. Um, I think it's worth taking the 11 2 because I think at some point people are going to cotton on that uh, the stable are in good form. The stable had a winner on Friday, and that, and obviously, that has franked the form of this horse as well. That it wasn't, it, it wasn't even beaten too far behind it. So yeah, I think it's got a cracking chance at one, and it it it, it is the nap of the day, um, just because everything about it is so obvious. There's not too many question marks about it. So as I said. If you can give me a like, a subscribe, or join the channel, support the channel, become a member, I would really appreciate it. Um, the football bet, as I said, is in the description, so I wish you the very best of luck. Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.